Hello, welcome to another video presentation of Math Business Online. This presentation is going to be around the use of multi-stop routing tools within Math Business Online. And you'll notice on the toolbar all the way to the right is our multi-stop routing button. Now, I've already imported a list of data sets. These happen to be customers uh, that exist in the state of Massachusetts and thereabouts. And we're going to basically have a uh, pretend uh, day. Uh, I'm a salesperson. Uh, I'm staying in Rockport, Massachusetts, and I've decided that today I'm going to drive to the Worcester area and I'm going to visit some accounts in this particular neck of the woods. So uh, this is quickly how I would go about doing this using Map Business Online. I've got my address for the location that I'm at. I've already uh, saved that and it's ready to be pasted wherever I want to use that. So the first thing I'm going to do is click on the radius search tool. I could do a polygon search or a radius search, and I'm going to place my point in the middle of Worcester, and I'm going to drag it out just about a mile and a quarter, because I think that's about as many people as I can visit today. And if you're real good, you'll know how to spell Worcester. Um, save that file, and the data window will then bring up a list of all the accounts within 1.26 miles of the center of Worcester. And there they are. Now I could go in one by one and set up using that little route button that you see on the left hand column. So we're over here in the left hand column and I could go in one by one and establish which accounts I want to visit and whether they are the start, stop, or finish of this particular route. But I'm pretty sure I can handle all of these accounts today. So I'm going to go over here to this button, and I'm just going to throw all of those accounts onto the route tool. So by clicking that button, I've selected every account in the data window, and I've placed them here for a routing operation. So you'll notice there's, there's directions that have always started, already started filling in. Now I'm going to go up to the data window, and I can bring open that data button. Uh, I can choose this to be round trip or um, just optimize the stops in the order. I'll go round trip. And then I'm going to paste in up here the location that I'm staying in, and I'm going to locate it on the map. There it is. And it brings me to that location. I can close the data window now. I'll move that route window over. And I'll hover, and this is effective in any label that you have on the map. I'll hover over that little car button, and it will pick up that same list of options that we saw in the data window. Do I add that as a start or a stop or a finish? And I'm going to add that as my stop start. So now I've got all the addresses in my route that I want to route to. And all I have to do is choose, do I optimize those stops? And then what that means is, do I have the mapping application tell me what is the most efficient way for me to route across those stops? And if I click that on, then it'll tell me that. If I click that off, then it's going to just take it in the order that I submitted them. So I'm going to click it on. I'm going to choose round trip because I do want to come home later tonight. And then I click route. Now the mapping application will go out and calculate an efficient route, an entire round trip across my whole day. And it brings back on the map a picture of that route. And it tells me my turn-by-turn -turn direction starting in Rockport and moving across Massachusetts to my first stop. And we'll go down here till we get to stop number one. right at the end here, arrive at 81 Plantation Street. Now the next stop, once I get done with my account there, I'll get back into the car and I can find the turn-by-turn -turn directions for the next stop, which will leave me at, route, at stop three, and so on throughout my day and all the way back. I can print those directions and use them uh, at, you know, manually in the car as I drive or I leave them on my laptop, however it works well for me. And that's how 
Map Business Online will enable multi-stop routing across uh, a variety of different addresses in an optimized and efficient way. And you can even drill into downtown Worcester and see how the details come up in terms of the routing and the number, the sequence in which you route. You can see the street information in the background and the more you drill in, the more you'll be able to see all of that. And so that's our lesson for routing for today. And uh, don't forget to go to mapbusinessonline.com and take our free trial. Thank you.